Are we right to go? Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Corindai's uh, Rugby Park for this, the 1991 Grand Final of Central North Zone to be played between Corindai and Tamworth First Grades. Uh, we'll go through the teams for you. Uh, firstly, the home side, Corindai. At fullback, we have Mick Cudmore. On the wings, we have Nathan Ford and David Rose. In the centres, John Rankin and Richard Cudmore. The 5 8 is Jim Gallagher. The halfback, Grayson Gulliver. That takes care of the backs. And now on the forwards, number eight, Greg Lumber. On the side of the scrum, we have Scott Chambers. And of course, David Carter, the captain, the ex-Wallaby, as the Tamworth side runs out onto the field. In the second row, Ian McKenzie and Richard Dowsett. The front rowers are Andy Avard and Jim Walters, with David McCarthy being the hooker. A wealth of talent in that side, and also a sprinkling of uh, young, uh, up-and-coming material as well. For Tamworth, at fullback, we have Peter Thompson. On the wings, Andrew Jones and Andrew Page. In the centres, Mark Richard and Craig Coffey. At 5'8", Peter Lane. The halfback is Bill Oliver. At the back of the scrum, Bernard Clarson. On the sides of the scrum, we have Richard Daniel and Neil Robertson. Peter Norris and Bernard Whale, the second rowers. The front row is Ken Pulley at hooker, Martin Stewart. And the other front rower is Scott Callahan. And it looks as though Tamworth's going to kick off and they'll be defending the northern end of the ground with the wind at their backs in the first half and the sun. And that could be uh, quite a problem in the second half as this sun sinks a little lower. Just waiting now as the Tamworth boy. About to take the kickoff. The referee asked whether Corinda is ready. They are. Asked Tamworth the same. And the grand final is underway. The kickoff, a deep one, right back down to the and over the goal line. And that's touched down there by Jim Gallagher. Back to the 22 for the restart. Tamworth and Corindai have met uh, twice this season with a, with a draw being the result in the first round. In the second round, a win to Tamworth, quite convincingly, at Tamworth. Corindai have worked play up to midway, midway to, uh, 22 and halfway, and that's where the scrum will take place. Corindai ball into the scrum. We'll see Grayson Gulliver put the ball in. About 12 metres in from touch about 12 metres inside their own half. Tamworth put the shove on, and oh my goodness, look at that front row come out of the scrum. They absolutely wrecked that Corindai scrum there. The referee said, my word, we'll sort that out again. And that was sheer push. They went straight up in the air. A long while since I've seen something like that at the opening of a game. Talk about testing material, my word. Bill Oliver puts the ball in for Tamworth. And back it goes to Peter Lane. He puts the boot in towards the goal mouth. McCutmore going back for it. Takes it well to the left of the uprights. Then skirts towards the touch line. And puts it into touch around about the 22. It'll be right on the 22 in fact. Where it'll be Tamworth to put the ball into, back into play into the line out. About two minutes gone in the game. Big crowd here at the grand final. Mostly over here on the uh, eastern side of the, or rather the western side of the ground. The ball won there by, uh, by Corindai. However, the Tamworth, Tamworth forwards have pulled it into a, into a mall situation. Just waiting for the ball to come out. Gallagher playing half back. The referee blows it up and we'll have a scrum Corindai ball. Grayson Gulliver there was caught uh, around the back of the line out in possession. And he'll feed the scrum just inside the Corindai 22. No score yet in the grand final. Tamworth certainly pushing the scrum around. The referee said we'll, uh, we'll put it down again. The Crindai front row once again collapse. Gulliver to feed the scrum. 
referee with a few words of advice in there. And he's awarded the penalty to Karindai. Tamworth pushing the scrum down. Jim Gallagher. About 20 metres in from touch. Just inside the 22. And we'll find touch near enough to the halfway. About a metre inside. On the Karindai side of halfway. And that's where the line out will take place. Right in front of the scoreboard. Where we see that in the reserve grade. Tamworth won the grand final by nine points to four over Gunnedah. And in the junior grade. Unfortunately, Tamworth uh, just weren't good enough. And in an all-penalty uh, points game, we saw um, Narrabri prevail by six points to three. And here's a penalty right in the centre of the field to Tamworth. Remember, they have the wind behind them. As uh, I saw Coffey there trying to, trying to make a break. He was well tackled. And um, the penalty has been awarded to Tamworth. The referee for today's grand final is... Uh, Mr. Mike, uh, Mr. Uh, Michael Janus. As we just wait to see uh, whether Peter Norris will kick for goal, he will. And this is right on the halfway, about two metres to the left of centre. So it's straight in front, but it's a long way up. If he strikes the ball well, three points could well be the result. That'll be a great start for Tamworth. They want as many points as they can, especially with this breeze behind them and uh, knowing that they'll have to face that and the sun in the second half. Norris, right on halfway with this kick. Goes back five, six paces. Steadies himself. The crowd is quiet. He moves in. He's kicked it. He's got onto it really well. And it's just away to the right of the uprights. Taken by Gallagher. And he'll, uh, he'll put it on the ground, that's for sure. For the 22 restart. Jim Gallagher enjoying a, a great season as 5-8 uh, for Corindai. Corindai, of course, the minor premiers this year. As uh, who was in there? Carter was in there for that ball. However, it's uh, taken away by Scotty Chambers for Corindai. Tamworth have him, they're pushing him back towards the 22 and Tamworth are really rolling this. However, they overran the ball and Corindai have taken it to ground. Just interesting to see what the referee will rule here. He's ruled a Corindai scrum. About six metres outside of the 22, 28 metres out from the line in Corindai's territory. Straight out in front of our broadcast position here. Just having a word to the front to the front rows. And um, Gulliver puts the ball in for Corindai. Corindai have won it. Now they come the short side. Gallagher in a little bit of trouble there. Gets it out to David Rose. He makes ground up towards the 10-yard mark. Into Carter. Carter busts out of a tackle. Now he's gone to ground. About five metres short of halfway. Back it comes to Gulliver. On again to Gallagher. Gallagher to Richard Cudmore. This is nice work. Oh! Charge down was Rankin's kick. But the referee has called them back and awarded a penalty for offside against um, the Tamworth. Must have been against one of the Tamworth players there, probably uh, one of the backs, but uh, just in the position it's in. Around about 18 metres uh, from the touchline and um, in centre field. That's where Jim Gallagher takes the penalty. And he's kicked a long kick. I don't think it's going to find touch. But Peter Thompson takes it. Oh, and he returns this with a little bit of interest. Down towards the 22. That's a glorious kick. And he finds touch around about a metre out from the 22. That's fantastic work by Peter Thompson. Oh, my word, first touch of the ball. Lee McCarthy to uh, put the ball into the line out. Just getting some instructions, making a few things clear. Corindai, of course, in the pale blue and the uh, white hoops. Tamworth in the familiar black and white. It's become very familiar today. This is the, th the third team in the grand finals. The ball won by Corindai from the line out. Tamworth reforming. And down it goes. The referee will blow this up, I'd say. No, back it comes to... Oh, Gallagher knocked that ball on. 
And the referee's going to play it about three metres, four, about five metres inside the uh, Grindai 22. That's a bad mistake. Took his eye just off the ball and uh, looked at the attacker coming at him. And one of the Corindai boys, uh, one of the Gunnedah uh, boys, there's a Bernie Clarson down there. He's got a bit of a problem with an arm. Bernie Clarson, uh, a junior last year, and uh, he's come ahead in leaps and bounds this year. Bill Oliver to put the ball into the scrum, the Tamworth halfback does so. About five metres inside, inside the 22, looks to go to the short side, nobody there. Then he gets it out to Lane. Lane back in towards the forwards, taken by Carter and pushed backwards. Good work. That's uh, is that Peter Norris there who's taken the ball forward. Tamworth forwards come over it. Back to Oliver. Out to Coffey. Coffey swings it wide. And there it goes out there to Andrew Page. Beautifully tackled on the far side. They're fighting for the ball over there. Tamworth going in hard. Oh, Corindai over the top. And that's got to be a penalty. It is. That had to be. That was suicidal. Crazy stuff. Not thinking. Just not thinking there. Corindai player at, uh, just had nothing to prop him up coming in like that and uh, sure enough he fell on the ball killed it and that's the penalty probably about uh, yes very good tackle by Nathan Ford over that uh, over the other side there you yeah, stop the progress of Andrew Page uh, when things look very threatening stopped him right in his tracks and before he really got mobile too However, here we see Peter Norris with the ball lined up about a metre outside the 22. But uh, at an estimate, lines are very hard to see. I'd say about 12 metres, 10 metres in from touch. Just waiting now. Sun shining brilliantly. it will be almost a summer's day if the, uh, if the breeze wasn't up. It's Peter Norris. Better known as Knocker. Moves in for the kick. He's kicked it. He's got it away well again. And the flags are up. And that's a great kick from a wide angle for Peter Norris. So Tamworth go into the lead after 10 minutes by three points to nil. Back to the halfway where we'll see... Uh, Jimmy Gallagher replaced the ball for the restart. Take this opportunity to have a quick cup of tea or whatever I have beside me here. Mr. Tui doesn't make cups of tea, does he? No, oh, never know. Jim Gallagher with the restart. Bernie Whale waiting for it there, but uh, one of the Corindai forwards has knocked it forward, and uh, the scrum will take place around about. Uh, 18 metres inside the Tamworth half. Might make that around about 20 metres, actually. Very hard to see the markings on this field, as I've said before. However, um, I'm probably not in the best vantage point either. Oliver feeds the scrum. Waiting for it at the back for Tamworth. Back it goes to Peter Thompson. He hoists the ball high down towards the 22. Falling short of Rose. And in fact, it goes into touch on the full. He must have been behind his 22. As I say, I just couldn't ascertain that. And uh, the line will take place around about six metres inside the Corindai half. <laughs> McCarthy with the throw into the line out. In it goes, towards the back, looking for Carter. He palms, he, oh, 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 he palms it back, he wish he, that fellow wished he hadn't. And uh, Gallagher puts the high kick up from the ensuing play. Uh, taken, there, taken there nicely by uh, Stewart, the Tamworth hooker. He gets the ball out, out to fullback Thompson. Kicking for, the, kicking for the line, or back to Cudmore it goes. He's about four metres out from touch. And about five, six metres inside the 22. And finds touch just outside the 22 by about seven or eight metres. The line out to take place. Good kick there by Peter Thompson, forcing uh, Corindai to put the ball out and therefore regaining the throw-in. Martin Stewart will uh, throw the ball into the line-out, the Tamworth hooker. Just waiting for them to settle themselves. Throws it right to the back. Taken by beautifully by Richard Daniel. Puts the ball down. This is Bernie Clarkson. Through he goes, but the referee has pulled them back. For a knock-on. 
And uh, the Tamworth forwards exposing a little bit of a weakness at the back of the line out there. No doubt uh, David Carter will have uh, some thoughts on that one. A little bit, uh, a little bit onward in the game. But uh, that was beautifully taken by uh, Richard Daniel. In fact, the ball may even have been not straight. I'm, I'm just not sure. The referee not happy with things. Corindai having a lot of problems in the scrum in the front row. Now they're set. Tamworth inching forward in goes the ball. And Tamworth won a tight hit. It's waiting for Oliver. He doesn't take it. Clarkson does. Bulldozing his way down the field. The ball lost there by Robertson. Into the mall it goes. Now it's in a ruck situation. Corindai rucking frantically for the ball. Comes out to Gulliver. Out it goes to Gallagher. And the referee has awarded a penalty to Corindai. Tamworth offside. About five metres, five, six metres inside the 22. Gallagher, the uh, Corindai 5'8". Beautiful boot. Gets an extra few metres by doing that. Taken there by uh, Bernie Whale. Gives it to Thompson. Thompson puts the ball up high. So some suggestion of late obstruction there from the Corindai uh, fellas. However, McCudmore takes the fair catch. Uh, down about seven, eight, nine, ten metres perhaps outside uh, his own line. And uh, about 20 metres in from touch. And that's where he takes the kick and he'll find touch around about the 22. In fact, a metre inside the 22 as the breeze stiffens again. And we'll see Marty Stewart throw the ball into the line out for Tamworth. The breeze makes things difficult for line outs too. That's... Uh, Tamworth lose that, lose that line out to the uh, Corindai front row. That was Walters burrowing his way into the line out there. Eventually it goes to ground. Corindai uh, have been awarded the scrum. Just outside the 22. Around about 15 minutes gone in the game. And Tamworth 3 uh, leading Corindai nil in the grand final of 1991. Just waiting now. The referee pointing out the mark, etc. Grayson Gulliver puts the ball in. Waiting for it. And back it goes oh, over Gallagher's head. And here's trouble as Rose actually takes the ball. And I thought that just could have been a little bit of obstruction, perhaps even shepherding there. But uh, the referee said, no, we'll play the five-yard scrum. I did think that Doe's, uh, Rose actually uh, ducked behind uh, Gallagher there. And I thought perhaps he could have had him for shepherding as uh, the Tamworth player was coming through very, very quickly. And actually did uh, did collide with Gallagher. And by that time, of course, Rose had uh, run behind Gallagher. However, back to the game. The referee said, we'll put it in again. Not happy with that. Referee in reserve grade having an awful lot of trouble with the scrum, sometimes packing them as many as five times. Um, if you want my thoughts, I don't think it's necessary. I think a couple of penalties early might have sorted that out and uh, would have uh, obviated the problems, as well as alleviated. This is Norris from the scrum, gives it to Daniels. And that was Page off the wing and knocked it forward. Corindai in possession, only about two metres from their own line. The referee blows it up and we'll have the Corindai scrum for the knock forward. Gee whiz, Tamworth looking sharp. Tamworth looking very sharp. start and handle this ball and uh, get a little bit of room to move in. Corindai could be in a lot of trouble. However, Corindai looked this way in the game against Gunnedah too and uh, they won it won it quite well by nine points to nil in the uh, major semi-finals. Gallagher in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Just manages to clear the ball as Bill Oliver very quickly threw on him and uh, he gets his kick away. Finds touch around about two metres from the Corindai line on this, the eastern side of the field. The crowd's very quiet. And here's, here's a Tamworth win. They drop the ball. The referee is going to award the scrum. Each way knock on is going to award the scrum to Tamworth. Around about three metres out from the Corindai line. Tamworth hot on attack. Leading by three points to nil. 
Around about 18 minutes gone in the grand final. As we see Oliver waiting for the ball. Works the short side. Goes to Jones. Jones held up right on the line. Did he get it down? The referee said held up. We'll have a five-yard scrum. Referee was right on the spot, was Michael Jonas. No, he said he was held up short. He didn't get over the line. So we'll have the scrum. Around about one foot from the Corindi line is where he's actually made the mark. Oliver feeds the scrum for Tamworth. Waiting, waiting. The referee will be watching. Tamworth putting on the push. And here's a try to... Yes, it's a try to Clarkson. Or was it Oliver? Oliver the halfback. Great work, Tamworth. That was power play. The forward's just far too strong. They got low. They set themselves and they pushed. Well, my word, Corindi, I don't know how they're going to answer this, but they're certainly going to have to do something with that scrum. It's been apparent from the first scrum this afternoon that this is what was going to happen. They were going to open them up through the forwards and they uh, certainly put on a convincing display that time. Great try there to Bill Oliver. So, Tamworth taking a little bit of a stranglehold on this uh, grand final at this stage. 20, let me see, 20 minutes gone. Seven points to nil. Could be ominous signs for Corindai here. <laughs> As we await Peter Norris's attempt at, uh, at the trimmings, if you like, the conversion. Five metres in from the sideline. Around about five metres back from the 22. As he sets himself. Now coming back three, four, five, six paces. And that little shuffle at the end. Now steadies himself. Concentrates. Moving in. He's kicked it. He's got it away well in the direction of the post. And that's a beautiful goal. He can do no wrong. Goodness gracious me. Good on your knocker. Well, well, Tamworth, 9-0 after 21 minutes. Well, Corindai are certainly going to have to do something now. Gee, what a great start for Tamworth as Gallagher restarts. Taken there by Bernie Whale and into touch. Waiting now to see what the referee... I know we're going to have a short line-out. Bernie Whale limping there as he runs back from the line-out. Under-17 uh, state representative. Is taken in there by Walters, the uh, Corindai front rower. They're putting on a bit of a push now. Tamworth soon retaliates. Now it's screwing around. Around about 15 metres 15 meters inside Tamworth's half. Some work going in there. And the referee says, we'll have none of that. We'll give Corindai a scrum. We'll settle it down. Referee Michael Jonas officiating here today. And just remembering that uh, in the minor grades, Narrabri won the under 19s by six points to three against Tamworth in an all penalty sco point scoring game. And uh, in the reserve grade grand final, Tamworth ran out the winners by nine points to four over Gunnedah. Karindai in the first grade, the minor premiers. Went straight into the grand final with a 9-0 win over uh, Gunnedah a couple of weeks ago as they win this, uh, win this scrum, picked up there by Scotty Chambers. Uh, however, uh, it comes out to Gallagher onto Cutmore, does the run around with Gallagher. Then it goes to Rankin, but the ball's been lost by the, by the winger over there. That was uh, Noel Ford. Covered up again. <laughs> this, is a game. this is a bit of a comedy of errors here. The ball knocked on in all directions as uh, the referee blows it up. And we're going to go back. And we're going to play the first knock on by uh, the, finger, by the uh, winger Nathan Ford there. That was um, the first knock on in that series. The scrum's going to take place on the uh, 10 metre mark 
in Tamworth Territory. Tamworth leading by nine points to nil with 24 minutes gone. And it comes to Oliver. On to Coffey. Oh, quick hands. Coffey ducks through one tackle. However, can't get right through. Picked up there by Gallagher. He's going to run it round towards uh, Nathan Forge wing foot in the little kick. However, taken there by Page. He loses the ball. Tamworth on the back pedal here. The referee blows his whistle. And will play one of the knock-ons, I think. Yes, he did. Yes. It was Nathan Ford, I think, that knocked the ball on. And uh, So Tamworth uh, have the scrum. Just about on their 22, as far as I can make out. On the far side of the ground, the eastern side of the ground. Oliver has it. Back to Peter Thompson. Puts the boot to the ball in no uncertain fashion. However, he doesn't find touch. Taken by McCudmore. Moves up to the halfway. Puts the kick ahead. Uh, waiting back there is Peter Thompson again. Again puts the boot to the ball. Uh, and it's taken back there by Scotty Chambers. He charges ahead. And uh, continues the kicking duel. Now Thompson works to the open side and puts in a big one. This could... No, it goes to David Rose. He collected on his own 10 metre mark up to the halfway. He puts the kick ahead. Taken there by Lane. Uh, the Tamworth 5'8", and he tidies things up, getting it back towards the halfway. In fact, only to the 10-metre uh, mark, but a good kick all the same. Can't just keep running your forwards around like that. On, and uh, it'll be McCarthy to throw the ball into the line-out for Corindai. 24 minutes gone. Nine points to nil to Tamworth in the grand final. Referee Jonas gets the line-out organised, looks to see the Corindai backs are onside. They are. Everything's settled, and Cathy to throw the ball in. Right to the back. Taken there by Chambers. He's, he's dispossessed of the ball. Now it's, now it's picked up. Now it's picked up by Tamer. There's Andrew Page. No, it's not. It's Peter Lane. He charges ahead. Rose saves the day for Karindai. We'll have a five-metre scrum. Well, Tamworth are certainly enterprising when they uh, manage to get a sniff of the ball. Last few minutes, uh, Corindai's had all the ball, and uh, that time there, Tamworth tried something different, and uh, it all but worked. Back it comes to Oliver, right in front of the post. He doesn't know which way to go. Now he gets it out to Lane. Lane working the short side, waiting for him to link up there with Winger Jones. He didn't, but it's a penalty to Corindai. Five minutes out from the uh, Corindai goal line. Around about 20 metres in from touch. That's where Jim Gallagher, the 5'8", will take the kick. Relieving penalty kick. Does so. And sails safely into touch. Around about uh, 18 metres inside Tamworth Territory. Uh, sorry, Corindai Territory. Corindai really... Um, just trying to uh, hang on to this at the moment. And, uh, they're, uh, they're doing fairly well in the last few minutes, but uh, then Tamworth seems to break away again and um, takes all the initiative off them. There's a kick from uh, Gallagher, a higher one, coming, da coming down there right on the halfway. Peter Norris is in there, pushed out, pushed out of the right. He's back in there again. Tamworth trying to get this ball, trying to rescue the situation. Corindai scrum in centre field. Right on the halfway, right in the centre of the paddock. That's where the referee is going to pack the scrum. Corindai ball. Gulliver waiting for it. Off the back came Lumber, gave it out, gave it out to uh, Gulliver. Now it's uh, through Gallagher on, onto the winger, Nathan Ford. He's held up on the far side. Uh, Tamworth forwards uh, just arriving now. The referee has blown it up. And he's awarded another scrum to Corindai. Tamworth halting play around about uh, six metres inside their own half. On the far side of the field. Only be a few metres in from touch. As the scrums meet, or the uh, two sides meet in the scrum and collapse. 
So we'll do it again. Nine points to nil. Tamworth lead in the 1991 Central North Grand Final first grade. By me, there's 28 minutes gone in the first half. Corindai screwing the scrum. The referee's going to award a penalty here somewhere. Yes, he is to Corindai. And the penalty will take place around about six metres inside the Corindai half. And although I'm only guessing, I'd say around about 12 metres in from touch. The wind is non-existent at the moment. As Jimmy Gallagher waits to build his tee or divot or whatever. No, a divot's when you take the hole out of the ground, isn't it? Yeah. Golfing, golfing parlance. Yeah, I stick to mound, I think. Yeah, <laughs> cameraman suggested mound. I think, I think perhaps that's, that's the best, yeah. Oh, dear. Jimmy Gallagher placing the ball. Very good kicker of the ball. This is a long kick, though. This will be about 53, 54 metres out, I'd say. He's around about uh, seven metres inside his own half, towards the far side of the field, probably only about 10 metres in from touch. Moving in. He kicks it. He kicked the, he kicked the mound at the same time, though, and it just won't quite get there. It almost did, but... Uh, would have fallen under the bar, picked up by Thompson out to the uh, right of the post and uh, put down for the 22. And that's where Tamworth's going to restart play. Peter Thompson. Big drop kick downfield. Cudmore waiting back here for it. Goes over his head. Oh, gee whiz. Recovered nicely enough, I suppose. And uh, he puts it downfield, taken by Thompson again. He puts in the, sh the shorter kick ahead. More control kick. It's running down along the touchline. Greg Lumber goes back. Makes a bit of a hash of it, and he's caught by the Tamworth uh, players. Thompson coming through over the top there. Tamworth, Tamworth coming into this. Around about 10 metres out from the Corindai line, but the referee blows it up. Good play once more by Tamworth, forcing them down the field. And once again, that breeze has got up. Go. Quite strong. Gulliver to put the ball into the scrum. Makes to do so, then the scrum collapses. Now the scrum turns into a bit of a shambles. It looked as though Corinda had won it. However, he's awarded the scrum to Tamworth. So we're going to do it all over again. I'll see it's Gulliver with the ball. So, and Gulliver has put the ball in. It's definitely held, his, held in his hand to indicate Tamworth. But, however, off the side of the scrum comes Scotty Chambers. He's driven backwards firmly by the Tamworth forwards. And in they go now. They're looking for this ball. It's a penalty to Tamworth. Not releasing the ball in the tackle. And so here's the chance for more points. Peter Norris in fine form at the moment. Nine points to nil. About 32 minutes gone in the first spell. The 1991 grand final. Tamworth establishing a superiority here. Just whether or not that'll be as apparent with uh, the wind behind Corindai in the second half, well, we can only wait and see. but I'd even venture to say that at this stage Tamworth deserved to be 12 points ahead. I think they've certainly been by far the better team. A lot more thorough, a lot more organised, a lot more disciplined in the forwards. And uh, they've certainly got the push on, uh, on Corindai. However, we saw a couple of weeks ago when Corindai played a little bit scrambly in the first half against Gunnedah. They just uh, continued and they, they did through the forwards consolidate their, consolidate their position in the second half. So maybe they'll do something similar today. Waiting for Norris. Around about eight metres in from touch. Two metres outside the 22. Kick of about 38 metres. Moving in. 
He's kicked it. He's hit it well again. The touch judges have a look, but it's out to the right. Gallagher takes it and forces it for the 22. From the dropout, Carter, Carter tries to take it, doesn't take it. McCarthy takes it from his shoulder. Now it comes back for uh, Grayson Gulliver to Gallagher. Gallagher pushes it upfield. Peter Thompson waiting. Takes it well on his own 10-meter 10 10 mark. However, he's been going to be bundled towards the, towards the touchline. He is in touch. And uh, that was good, brave work by the Tamworth fullback. Peter Thompson, he'll be the last one to shirk the task. That'll be McCarthy to throw the ball into the line-out. They've formed a three-man line-out of Grindai. Palm back there by, I think it was McKenzie. Daniels off like a terrier after, Gre after uh, Greg Lumber. He takes it into the forwards. Now it's come out to Gallagher. He gets it on to uh, front row forward. Who's that, Avard? And down the touchline they go, where the referee has something to say when it goes into touch, and back he goes. Or it looks like a dangerous tackle from one of the Tamworth players. Penalty to Corindai. On the 10 metre mark. Around about six metres in from touch. That's where Jim Gallagher is going to have the shot. Jim Gallagher been unsuccessful so far today. Getting a little bit of advice from the sideline here, so to speak. <laughs> Jason Goodwin having a word of advice to me there. The, the voice is starting to get a little, little bit husky too, I sort of noticed. Uh, the third game today and uh, believe me, very happy to do it, to see the Tamworth side, uh, sides in here today. As we see Jim Gallagher lining up this penalty goal, kicking straight into the teeth of that wind, as you can see by the flag in the foreground. He's got it high in the air, however it's going to come down beside the left hand upright. Peter Thompson takes it and uh, forces for the 22. Thompson takes it, puts a long one down the field. Doesn't quite come off. Taken by Jim Gallagher about uh, 12 metres inside his own half, up to the halfway, over the halfway, up to the 10-yard mark, and then dropped the ball badly behind the uh, support. And uh, Greg Lumber watched it run over the touchline. That's where it'll be Tamworth to put it into uh, back into play. And per Marty Stewart, and uh, he's getting some instructions from uh, like Richard Daniel there towards the back of the line out. Marty Stewart, Tamworth hooker, throws it in a long one to the back. Palm back by Daniel, picked up by uh, Craig Coffey. Is it coming through? He's lowered by the Tamworth, or by the Corindai forwards rather. The referee's blowing it up as the uh, ruck forms. We're going to have a scrum, Tamworth ball. Bill Oliver with the scrum, scrum feed that is. Waiting for the ball. Out it goes to Peter Thompson standing in at 5'8". He kicks for the line and finds it nicely about two metres outside the uh, Corindai 22. That's the sort of stuff that breaks hearts. So back they trudge. But it'll be Tamworth that'll be on the receiving end of that sort of thing in the second half. McCarthy walks towards the line-out. Getting a few, few words in code from uh, Captain David Carter. Tamworth leading by nine points to nil. Questionably uh, straight, however. Quite questionable. Gulliver to Gallagher. Gallagher inside his 22 and puts it back towards the halfway. And finds touch around about uh, eight metres inside his own half. Where it'll be Stewart to throw the ball in from Tamworth. Tamworth uh, employing a code of their own. Marty Stewart listening to it before throwing the ball in. However, the ball taken by Carter at the back. Going for a bit of a run. 
He was taken down. Who's that going forward? That's Grayson Gulliver, the halfback. It's Carter standing out at halfback now. The referee blows it up and awards the scrum to Corindai going forward. Just inside the Tamworth half by about five metres. About 17 metres in from touch. The referee, Mr Jonas. Doing the adjudicating today. As Gulliver puts the ball in. Oh, look at that front row again. Taken by Gallagher. Back it comes to Mick Cutmore inserting himself in the line. However, he's well tackled on the 10 metre mark. Over the top go the forwards. And that was... That was the halfback race in Gulliver. Tamworth come away with the ball. The referee was playing the advantage. And we'll have a penalty to Corindai. Around about a metre in from touch on the 10 metre line. As Jim Gallagher comes up to take the kick. Kicks it to himself. Now he hoists it high. Who's waiting underneath this? Very hard to tell. I think it was Bernie Clarson. The ball's on the deck. May have been playing a Tamworth knock-on there. I'm not too sure. No. I think he's given the scrum to Tamworth. Just can't see his indication at the moment. But uh, No, he's given, the, he's given it to Corindai. May have been for the knock-on from the Tamworth forward. Into the scrum. Out again. Grayson going for a run himself. Scuttles around the back. Oh, gee, heavily hit. Heavily hit there by Clarsen. Taken into the forwards. Tamworth, Tamworth starting to push. Round about the 22. About a metre inside the Tamworth 22. Comes back to Gallagher. There goes Richard Cudmore. Cudmore going for a run. He's taken short of the line. Tried to get it out to Rose. Did so. But Rose is bundled into touch just short of the corner flag. Well, Corindai having a good run there. And... Uh, they're uh, certainly starting to put their support together as indicated by that little run and um, if they can do a little bit more of that then perhaps they can uh, come right back into contention here but they've certainly got to do a lot more than what they're doing at the moment that was an isolated occasion however they do seem to be working a little bit better in the forwards that's a long throw I think that was taken by Craig Coffey standing on his own line what does the referee say about it I think he said not straight the ball not straight into the line yet. I think that was the... I'm not too sure. He's taken them out about five yards, or five metres, I should say, from the... Still trying to, trying to use the old measurement. About five metres from the Tamworth line. Corindai hot on attack. Gallop. Grayson Gulliver waiting for the ball. Comes to Gallagher with the whip around with uh, Richard Cudmore. Goes on to Rankin. Rankin's got Ford outside him. Gives it to Ford, and he's buried on the far side of the field. Tamworth out there in numbers in cover defence. That's good defence from Tamworth. Just rucking for the ball now. Corindai pushing them back. Should get the scrum feed. They do. Corindai hot on attack. There's a Tamworth player down injured. Just can't see who it is. Number 13, Im Richard. The centre. And he's remaining motionless, unfortunately. Looks like Peter Thompson over there having a look at him, and uh, he looks quite, con quite concerned. Concerned persons arriving from all, uh, all angles here. And uh, my cameraman with the aid of the camera is able to probably see a little bit more than me has said that uh, it's something about his back let's hope it's not uh, not anything serious breeze has died here that player on his feet i still can't see who it is oh yes it is yeah it is richard mm. Or is it? Oh, hard to say who it is. Very hard to say by the naked eye. We're a long way from play here. Could have been Andrew, Andrew Page, I think. However, 
the ball back into the scrum. Scalibur feeds it. Karindai putting on the push. Trying to screw it, trying to trying to do anything to make some ground. Get over that line. And your referee blows it up and we've ordered a scrum once more. These referees have got some patience. Into the scrum it goes, one by Karindai. Gallagher out to, uh, who was it standing in there? Cudmore to Gallagher. Out it goes to David Rose, the winger. Takes a step inside. He's caught by the defence. The fence smartly moving. There goes the siren for half time. Karindai pressing forward. Within about six metres of the line. The referee blows it up. And he blows it up for half time. So we find that Tamworth in the grand final, the first grade grand final of Central North, uh, leading Corindai, the minor premiers, by nine points to nil. The, uh, the points came about after 10 minutes, a Peter Norris penalty goal. After 20 minutes, a try to the halfback. There was a pushover try to the halfback, Bill Oliver. And uh, uh, that try was converted by Peter Norris. That's Tamworth nine, Corindai nil. Now here we are back for Corindai to kick off. Jim Galt. The ball going into touch from the kickoff on the far side, about 15 metres. I was going to say 15 metres inside the Tamworth half, but the referee uh, has decided to play the knock on from the um, Corindai forward and awarded the scrum to Tamworth. Bill Oliver feeds the scrum, waiting for it. Back it comes to Lane. Onto, I was going to say coffee, but Richard uh, ducked inside him, taking it into the forwards. They're setting it up nicely. Tamworth pushing it in this um, mall, rolling it up towards the halfway. Gosh, they've gone about 15, 20 metres already. They're nearly up to the halfway. Bill Oliver just waiting, just waiting for the ball, not coming out. Down it goes. The referee will blow it up. He does. And he gives a scrum to Corindai. Well, well. There will be a little bit of talk about this tonight. And I'd say from now on, anybody views this video, it's there for you all to see. We all saw it. Maybe they lost the ball, or maybe they lost the ball forward, I don't know. Maybe the referee saw something we didn't, but it just seems so glaring there, with Tamworth uh, gaining all that ground through the forwards. <laughs> Gulliver feeds the scrum. Just waiting for it. Back to Gallagher. Gallagher onto the boot. Kicks over the head of Andrew Page, going back for the ball. The ball running down towards the corner. Taken by Page. There's only one place he can go, and that's in touch, and he should have run in there himself. Would have saved being uh, knocked into touch. Corindai ball, about uh, seven, eight metres outside the Tamworth line. Now the crowd come alive. McCarthy to throw the ball into the line out. Needs a lot of instructions. Getting more. Just waiting now. McCarthy to throw the ball into the line out. Corindai hot on attack. Back towards the back. Scotty Chambers knocked it forward. Picked up there by uh, a Tamworth forward. The referee said, well, scrum it for the knock on. No advantage to Tamworth. So it's 15 metres in from touch. Seven or eight metres from the Tamworth line. Oliver to feed the scrum. He's waiting for it. Back to Thompson, shading his eyes from the sun. Gets a good kick away, and that relieves pressure up to uh, 
20 metres out from the Tamworth line. Waiting now. Tamworth throw into the line out. Cathy using up a little bit of time at these line outs. Throws now towards the back, taken by Carter, taken beautifully by Carter. Shields the ball with his body. Corindai forwards trying to trying to work it, but back come the Tamworth forwards. They put it on the deck, they pushed them back. Corindai, this is scrappy. What's the referee going to do here? Knock on by Corindai at the base of the scrum, or the base of the ruck. And so Tamworth have the advantage of the put in. Around about 20 metres out from their own line. Crouch, pause, touch and engage. And here's a tight head to Corindai. On the 22, it goes to Gallagher. Oh, I'm not too sure whether he stabbed a kick at field goal or whether he just stabbed it across. It's gone behind the line. And Andrew uh, Jones goes back to the uh, winger on the far side there. Tamworth right winger. And uh, dots it down for the 22 restart. I think he may have had a shot at field goal there on his left boot. Just sort of looked as though he set himself that way, however. Now the restart. Knocked on by, uh, by the Corindai forward there. That was uh, Dick Dowsett. And so we'll go back for the scrum. Probably, the cameraman just said to me that uh, they've got the floodlights on already. I said, yes, they could be going for extra time or hoping for it. Back to Thompson, hurriedly gets the kick away and does so well. And Tamworth work play up to now uh, 12 metres inside their own half. Playing into the wind, most of the play will be down here in front of us in this half, the southern half of the ground. As McCarthy once more goes and gets uh, instructions. Certainly takes his time. Seems to be no urgency. Down by nine points to nil. In it goes, one by Tamworth. And a penalty. Penalty for barging. So Gallagher, once more, will have a shot for goal. I don't know how many he's had. I haven't been counting. It's 11 metres inside the Tamworth half. 15 metres in from touch. Certainly well within his range. Five minutes gone in the second half. This to make it 9-3. Tamworth scored their try after 20 minutes. When uh, the Tamworth pack push Corindai over their own line and halfback Bill Oliver was in there to force the ball. Peter Norris converted from wide out and Peter Norris also kicked a uh, penalty goal. So that's the Tamworth nine points. Corindai still waiting to get on the board. And they're hopeful with this one from Jim Gallagher, the 5'8". Kicking, kicking extremely well this year. Sits himself and moves in. Sailing towards the post. They're watching and they put the flags up. The touch judges do. It's nine points to three. The crowd comes alive at long last. They haven't had much to enthuse about this afternoon. Tamworth forwards have pushed them from pillar to post. So it's nine points to three and that'll certainly give Corindai a little bit of heart. Let's hope they can uh, go on with it and uh, make a good contest out of this, that's for sure. Tamworth certainly haven't had it all their own way, either. I don't mean that, but uh, they, uh, they clearly have been the better team. Just waiting now for the restart. Richard kicks off, and it's out on the full. Well, that's a bad mistake. So, what's the referee doing here? Yeah, 
And Corindo have opted for the line out at halfway. They do have the option of the scrum or the line out. So they've, uh, they've taken the line out at halfway. Corindo with the win and the sun becoming troublesome as it sinks lower and lower in the sky. On it goes to Gallagher. That's, that's Rankin out there. He's being tackled, gives it to Richard Cudmore. He can't go anywhere. Tamworth forwards have him. Corindai forwards arriving. They push Tamworth back there. And they'll get the scrum. About five metres inside their own half. Corindai with the scrum. You saw Craig Coffey... Uh, coming back into his into his position after making that tackle and Tamworth have won a tight head no they haven't the referee said we'll have that in again the scrum the scrum had screwed to a greater angle than uh, the laws allow so we have it in again oh look at that front row lift for Corindai there Back to Gallagher, he puts boot to ball. Thompson looking for it over his shoulder, it bounces awkwardly. Back on the 22, gathers it fairly well. Puts a foot into touch, however, and that'll be the end of the section. So Corindai have the throw in, round about eight metres out from the Tamworth uh, 22. McCarthy. Does the customary thing. David Carter there, uh, quite explicit in his, in his instructions to McCarthy. Just waiting there. Towards the back to Carter. Palms it off nicely. However, Richard Daniel through there. Secures the ball for Tamworth. As we see Bernie Clarkson coming away, the referee's whistle goes. And he's awarded Corindai another scrum. Well, I... I don't know. I thought they handled the ball cleanly. Perhaps they didn't. He's the man there. Gulliver with the ball. Decides to have a little dab on the short side. However, that's blocked by Clarkson. But it goes to Bernie Whale. Loses the ball. To Gulliver. To Gallagher. Out, out wide he goes to Mick Cudmore in the line. Now it goes to Rankin. He's lost touch with his winger. He also lost touch with uh, uh, Richard Cudmore there. However, this is the... This is the uh, second row, D uh, Dowsett, was it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't Dowsett at all. That was McKenzie. Back it comes on the Tamworth side, and Peter Thompson falls over and kicks the ball at the same time. Doesn't find touch. Taken by McCudmore. Ducking around, around about uh, 20 metres inside the uh, Tamworth half. And that's where the ruck takes place. The referee blows it up. work there from Corindai. Flying a bit of pressure inside the Tamworth half. About 20 metres inside the Tamworth half. Around about 20 metres in from touch. And Gulliver drops the ball at the scrum base. Tamworth tow it through. Uh, picked up there by David Rose, the winger. He's making a run towards the open side. Tamworth uh, forwards and backs are in there. Close things up. What's the referee going to do here? A scrum to Corindai. Gulliver feeds the scrum. Goes to uh, Gray to um, Gallagher, and uh, he knocks the ball on around the blind side. So now we'll have a scrum to Tamworth in the crowd with ironic applause. Bill Oliver feeding the scrum. 
And there was Carter through there. No penalty. Out it goes to Thompson on the short side. He kicks ahead. This is Page rushing down the field. Takes the ball. This could be dangerous from Kurundoy. Uh, Page loses the ball ahead. And we're going to have the scrum. Well, Tamworth don't need much of a... Much of a chink in the armour, and uh, they certainly find it and exploit it to the full. That's why they're leading this grand final by nine points to three. In the uh, in the earlier grades, I can tell you, in the um, juniors, all penalty goals uh, was how the were how the uh, points were amassed. Uh, six points to three was the was the score as we get back to this game. And uh, Peter Thompson has a long-range kick and field goal, and he's kicked it. Oh, fantastic from about 40, 45, 46 metres out. Oh, great work, Peter Thompson. That was beautiful. Remember, he kicked it into the wind, and that could well be the nail in the coffin, that's for sure. Well, that was an astonishing kick. From the quick, from the kickoff, it's very willing in there. Tamworth trying to get the advantage of the scrum, also trying to get the ball. Now they have it. Taken by Coffey. He gets it out to uh, who? Who is that? Is that Lane? And gets it out to uh, Page. Page making ground over the ten-yard mark. There's nobody there. Now they're arriving. There, Referee's whistle hasn't gone. I thought it had. It's Tamworth bury it. And I think it would be a Tamworth scrum. Well, that was a fantastic field goal. Took everybody by surprise. And uh, from a failed clearing kick, Peter Thompson picked up the ball near his own 10-metre uh, mark. And from very wide out, let fly, and the ball sailed long, and high, and true for a three-pointer. So Tamworth leading by 12 points to three. Bernie Clarkson off the scrum. He gets back to... Uh, who was who was that? Peter Norris, was it? He's put on the deck, waiting for the ball. Oh, Corindai uh, backs very close to being offside there. However, it goes to Thompson on the short side. He flings one of the Corindai players to the ground there. However, Corindai have the ball out to Gallagher, out to Cudmore, out to Rankin. Now it's now it's on to Rose. Now it's back to Rankin. Rankin's going for the corner. There's plenty of time with support there. Cudmore takes the ball, trips over, around about 15 metres out from the Tamworth line. The ball goes, the ball goes loose, and one of the Tamworth forwards manages to get back and absolutely uh, speculates the ball into touch. Desperate stuff, but uh, they did manage to clear it. Good break there from the uh, Corindai backs, and they're looking a lot sharper today than what they were two weeks ago when I saw them in the major semi-final. Player injured here. However, he's going to continue. About 10 metres out from the Tamworth line. That's where the line out will take place. McCarthy for Corindai to throw the ball in. Tamworth leading by 12 points to three. Ball won by Corindai. Taken into the mall. Back to Gallagher. Gets it out to Cudmore, it is. Uh, that's Rankin doubling around. Oh, and he's jumped and dispossessed. Thompson has the ball. Coming back under his post. And then clears it to an empty field. It goes back up over halfway. If this runs to touch, it'll be fabulous. It won't. Taken there by David Rose. The winger goes back for it. And Corindai, I do believe, him, knocked the ball on. Picked up there by the Tamworth forwards. 
Oh, it goes. I can't see who the player is. I can't identify him at all. He's over the far side and they're going for the line about 22 metres out. Tamworth held up. It's a seesawing affair at the moment. Goodness gracious, high excitement. We're waiting for the ball to come out of the ruck. Grindai have tied it up. And it'll be a Tamworth scrum. Well, what a passage of play that was. Goodness gracious me. Great work from uh, Tamworth there, retaliating. And uh, Corindai, so threatening there just, uh, just a second ago. And uh, Tamworth coming back and almost scoring themselves. A player down injured again. I'll tell you now that uh, the Corindai rugby, uh, well, first grade rugby side is um, sponsored by a number, number of uh, local firms. Apparently uh, a little bit too numerous to mention. However, they know who they are. And, uh, supporters know who they are. Uh, congratulations on the minor premiership this year. And um, unfortunately, you are coming second at the moment. At the time as I make it. Uh, around about 18 minutes into the second half with about 22 minutes remaining. Major sponsors for Tamworth, of course, are the Good Companions Hotel and the Tamworth Club. As the scrum packs, as far as I can see, about 15 metres out from the Corindi line. The Tamworth forwards working it again from Clarsen. Was that Oliver cu coming through there? Drops the ball, knocks it on. And the referee said, we'll scrum it. About 15 metres out from the Corindi line. Around about 20 minutes in, 20 metres in from that uh, far touch line. In it goes. Corindai have won it. Tamworth <laughs> offside. Rather obviously. And uh, so it'll be a relieving penalty kick for Jim Gallagher here. Around about 20 metres out from his own line and puts it into touch down towards the halfway, in fact, on the 10 metre line in Corindai territory. 12 points to three to Tamworth in this 1991 Central North Grand Final. Just waiting now as uh, Marty Stewart puts the ball into the line out, comes back to Oliver. He gives it out to Lane, on to Coffey. Coffey with Thompson in the line. Now out to Page on the wing. Coffey doubling around, looking for support. Andrew Jones is there. Corindai have, dis have dis dispossessed them of the ball. They take it into the, uh, into the ruck. I don't think it'll find... It did find a way out of there. Grayson Gulliver with a kick over the top. No fullback at home. Taken there by Peter Lane and run into touch. Good play by Corindai and uh, good play from Peter Lane there. Covering up nicely from Tamworth. So as I make it, midway through the second half, it's Tamworth 12, Corindai 3. Tamworth playing into the wind and the sun in this, the second half. And uh, are quite deserved leaders in this, in this game so far. Short one, in at number two. Taken there by McKenzie, I think it was. And it's a penalty to Corindai. Quite a kickable position on the 22. And about five metres in from touch. Six metres in from touch. And he's taking it back to uh, around about five metres the other side of uh, the 22. And that's where Jim Gallagher will attempt to close the gap in the scores. As I say, Tamworth leading by 12 points to three. I started to tell you about earlier grand finals. Um, the Tamworth having three sides in um, the grand finals here today. In the under-19s, uh, Tamworth, unfortunately, uh, couldn't hold out Narrabri and a uh, very strong Narrabri under-19 side. Uh, won by six points to three. All points actually came from penalty goals. And uh, in the reserve grade, Tamworth defeated Gunnada by nine points to four. As we see Gallagher lining up this penalty goal, 12 points to 3, the score at the moment. Gallagher. Been a very dependable kicker for Corindai. 
Very nice style of player. From a, a rather difficult angle. Five metres the other side of the 22. Hits it, curling towards the post. It's missed to the right hand up, outside, just outside the up, right hand upright, I should say. Absolutely shaved it. And Peter Thompson, the Tamworth fullback, puts it down for the 22. So Tamworth the restart, leading by 12 points to three. And Jim Gallagher, unfortunately, is having a similar day to uh, that of Michael Liner. That's uh, what it brought back to me in the um, test match against the All Blacks. And that was good work there from the uh, from the Tamworth uh, from the Tamworth forward. That was Robertson. Otherwise, I think that ball would have gone on, gone into touch on the fall. And uh, Corinda, of course, had the option of the uh, scrum back at the centre of the 22. But uh, however, he managed to thrust up a hand and touch the ball, forcing the line out right to the back. Taken there by Chambers. He's taken in turn by Daniel, uh, the Tamworth, uh, as Gallagher. Going towards the pace with a field goal. This has got to be awfully close. He's missed it. And Thompson forces once more. Gee, a couple of uh, very close shaves there by Jim Gallagher. Very, very close. I thought that one was over, but I'm away to the side of, uh, to the, side of the uh, field, of course, and we can't really tell from here. Or Cudmore goes to cover the ball up. I think it may have hit his uh, chest or shoulder. Be interesting to see what the referee says here. No, the referee said a knock on. So that was a good, uh, good kick off for Tamworth. Right back to the 10 yard mark in uh, Corindai territory. Tamworth playing into the wind and the sun. The sun now starting to tell as players start to shade their faces, shade their eyes rather, from the sun. As Tamworth wins the ball from the scrum. Out it goes to Lane. Uh, I was going to say on to Coffee to Richard. He drops it behind him so the forwards come round. Now they're setting up the play for the phase. Tamworth forwards going over. But Corinda have won the ball. They've robbed the ball. And uh, that's just too big from halfback Gulliver there. So back we go to the other side of halfway where the line out will take place. Around about three metres inside the Corinda half. 12 points to three to Tamworth. Just checking the time. I think there's around about 24 minutes gone. In this, the second spell of the grand final. Waiting now for Stewart to put the ball in. In it goes. That was uh, McKenzie, I think it was. Managed to burst his way right through the line out. Corindai retained the ball on it. Goes to Richard Cudmore in the centres. Tamworth trying to pilfer. They managed to do so. Craig Coffey with the ball now. Heading towards the centre of the field. The referee's whistle goes. What are we going to do this time? We're going to have a scrum for Indi Ball. Tamworth knocking on there. As he went for the tackle ball. Been a very much a, a, a stop-start affair today, as uh, have the three games. Rather unfortunate, but... Uh, there was uh, a lot of nervousness as Tamworth absolutely drive for Indi back. Kick by Page um, wasn't too good, but he manages to work it into touch and get the uh, retain the possession for Tamworth to put the ball into the line out. Twenty six minutes gone in the second half. Tamworth leading by twelve points to three. Marvellous work in the line out there from the Crindai forwards as Ellett comes now along the back line to Cudmore. Goes to Rankin. Cudmore into the line. Makes a good break. Gets it out to Rose. Rose up to the 22. Gets it back out to Rankin. And Rankin is going towards the touchline. I thought he was out there. He's not. They're rucking for the ball. Tamworth arriving back on side. Now it comes again to Gulliver. Now here's the field goal from Gallagher. We're waiting for this one. It's over. Great kick from wide out. I do think, though, that uh, he may have um, taken the option of running the ball because the Tamworth backs were still arriving back on side. They were at sixes and sevens. He had, he certainly had a, at least an overlap, if not a two or, or perhaps more man overlap. 
and uh, he decided on the field goal however it's points he got them and well done Corindai. 12 points to six in the grand final with uh, around about 26 27 minutes gone that's by my time and uh, unfortunately that doesn't allow for stoppages from the restart and Tamo has done it again they've put the ball into touch on the full Now, as the ball comes uh, out to Corindai, that's uh, David Carter with the ball, but some scrappy play there. And uh, the referee has ruled the ball had gone forward, so it'll be a Tamworth scrum to pack. As I say, around about 26, 27 minutes to go. There has been a couple of stoppages. But I'm just not too sure just what has uh, been time on and time off. Tamworth win the ball. Wa waiting for it, Oliver. Now he gets it per Clarkson. The ball behind Thompson, running towards the touchline, and Andrew Page lets it run into touch. It's around about eight metres into the Corindai half. Tamworth playing into the wind in the second half, leading by 12 points to six. And the referee is going to blow it up. Tamworth player down, injured. But he's back to us. Uh, or he's back, unfortunately, not to us. It's a little bit hard to see just who that player is. So we'll have more time off, so that makes me even more uncertain of the time from now on. It's all a game of addition and subtraction. <laughs> but the Tamworth forwards are still playing very, very well. Sticking to their task, they're, they're very committed. The Tamworth backs running for the phase play. Running hard, running straight. And uh, I do feel that uh, Corindai perhaps getting the better of, uh, better of possession in recent minutes. And let's see, who, who was that? Richard Daniel, wasn't it? Yes, Richard Daniel was down. However, he's back on his feet again. And it's around about seven metres inside the uh, Corindai half. That's where the line-out takes place. McCarthy, the Corindai hooker, throws it in where it's uh, palmed there by Dowsett. Gallagher puts the kick ahead. Taken, taken by the Tamworth hooker, Stewart. Carter over the top of him. Corindai, Corindai forwards going in there, trying to set it up. Trying to pull the Tamworth forwards in. Now they do. Tamworth forwards now starting to push. I'd suggest that Tam uh, Corindai try and get that ball out of there. However, they, they haven't. We'll just see which way the referee goes here. Looking to see which way the referee is going to award this feed. Award it to Corindai. Yes, he does. Corindai have certainly had... Uh, a lion's share of possession, especially in the second half. Now the Tamworth scrum really turns into a machine, pushes them backwards. Gulliver caught with the ball. That's as a result of the forwards' good work. That's excellent, Tamworth. Coming out the Grindai side. They can't free it. Grappling around for the ball. However, Tamworth's offside, and the referee rules accordingly. Just inside the Tamworth half by about two metres, and about 14 metres in from touch. That's where Jim Gallagher is going to take the kick. He's not going to kick for goal. I thought he might go for the points. Well, he may live to regret that. But he's found a beautiful touch. Well, I, I really don't know how... However, that's what the Dutch judges ruled. I saw it with my own eyes, I don't know. Peter Thompson, I think, uh, expressing a little bit of disgust there too, but... Uh, Certainly, certainly the ball was wider than that when it went past the corner post. However, grand kick by uh, Jim Gallagher. Stewart into the line out. Oh, right towards the back, taken by Richard, the centre. Tamworth forwards pouring over the top. Grindai forwards in there. 
Oliver waiting for the ball. Back to Thompson. Thompson will clear. And that's great work, Tamworth. Good forward play. Corindai really on the boil there. And they've worked play now to about 32 metres out from the Tamworth line. Where we'll see McCarthy throw the ball in for Corindai. Again, going for the instructions. Wouldn't be too worried about it at the moment. The time's ticking away. I would estimate around about 10 minutes to go in the game. A Tamworth player down in, down in back play, lying on the goal line. Whoever play continues goes to uh, Gulliver from the, uh, from the Corindai win of the line out. He puts the ball high in there, taken by Scotty Chambers and uh, the Corindai flanker. They're trying to get the ball down. It's gone into a mall. Tamworth pushing. Corindai trying to work it around so that they can be pushing forward. Now it's collapsed. The referee blows it up. And it's a Tamworth scrum. And I do agree with that. Tamworth did put the push on. They did go forward. Corindai tried to screw it. And uh, it was only the Tamworth push that, uh, that really turned them around and made it appear as though they were going forward. And now the referee sent the player down on back play. And uh, he's blowing time off. And I do believe... Maybe Scott Callum. Camera. Don't shake around too much. Uh, camera. That's all. Scott Callum coming back into position. And referee asking him, are you all right? He's got the smell of a grand final win here. He's, he's certainly not going to say anything other than yes. However, his, uh, his arm hanging limp by his side there as he was uh, running back. Going to take his place in the front row. Play remains stopped as um, Corindai make a change. And Nick Cobcroft comes on for Greg Lumber. Greg Lumber's had a good game. Uh, Nick Cobcroft coming on now as I say with about 10 minutes to go in the game I, I think back it comes to Thompson from the scrum puts a high kick up along the touch line oh and that's great work Peter Thompson works play well outside the uh, Tamworth half by about 8 metres I'd say and that's where the throw in will take place Grindise McCathy going to get uh, going to get some more instructions from David Carter He's certainly not panicking about time I'd be a little bit worried about it. 12 points to six in the grand final. Tamworth's lead. Tamworth scored the only try. As back the ball comes to the Tamworth backs at lane, the 5-8 drops it on. It was a horrible ball for him. And the referee blows up the ensuing wall and said we'll scrum. About 18 yards in from touch. About five metres inside the Tamworth half. That's where the scrum will take place. And it'll be Gulliver to uh, feed the scrum. He does so. Tamworth immediately put on the push. Drive Corindai forward. Then Corindai push Tamworth back a couple of metres. The kick from Gallagher will be way too big as it uh, goes out touch in goal. And uh, that's not a good kick. That's, that's not a good effort at all with time ticking away. And I think uh, he could explore better options than that. He's got the sun behind him, and uh, I think I'd be thinking of that. He can see which way the shadows are falling. However, it's a little bit different when you're on the field. You're trying to think of everything at once. He may have been under instructions to go for the corner flag again. At the restart, a long one from Tamworth over the halfway. Taken by Mick Cudmore, and just inside his own half. Hoist it high. Thompson looking at this one coming in out of the sun. Oh, takes it well in front of his post. And he posts it back towards the halfway. Oh, great work, Peter Thompson. About eight metres inside his own half. And that's a marvellous kick into the wind where the breeze is fairly fresh at the moment. Tamworth leading in the first grade grand final by 12 points to six. The short line out. Pushed back there by McKenzie. Goes to Gallagher. Carter out in the back line. He's having a bit of a run. Caught just inside the Tamworth half. About eight metres. They're rucking for it. It's waiting for the ball to come out. Comes out on the uh, Corindai side. To Gallagher, to Richard Cutmore, to Rankin. He oh, Rankin here, hit by his own man as he was tackled. 
Now he's tackled by the Tamworth forwards. They're coming again from about the fourth phase. Now it's out. This is Dowsett. Out it comes to Carter. Carter gets it on to Nathan Ford. Puts a, good, puts a good kick in in front of the goalpost. Taken there by Peter Lane courageously. The ball goes loose. There's a scramble for the goal line. And the referee says no try. Well, anything could have happened there. Anything could have happened there. That was a good passage of play from Corindai. They won about four places of play in a row there. And uh, Nathan Ford with a very, very intelligent kick into the goal mouth. And Tamworth were at sixes and sevens there as to uh, just exactly how they were going to clear things. The ball, the high ball coming out of the sun. Now into the scrum it goes. Corindai have won it. Comes on the short side to Callagher. On it goes to Nathan Ford, trying to beat his man. Can't do so. Page has him well. Now the forwards come over the top. They're rucking for it. Tamworth looking for this ball. The referee blows it up. And it's a Tamworth. And it is a Tamworth uh, feed. And I think a uh, good passage to play there from Tamworth. They did push Corindai backwards. Corindai did not go in uh, as solidly as uh, Tamworth. And Sif, so therefore, Tamworth the feed. Having a word to the forwards. I estimate about six minutes of play to rem uh, remaining in this match. The first grade grand final. As Billy Oliver puts the ball in about five metres out from his own line. Peter Thompson behind him, shielding his eyes from the sun. Gets the ball, gets it a hurried kick and works it back towards the 22. About 20 metres out from the Tamworth line and that's where the line will take place with McCathy for Corindai uh, going to put the ball into play. I'm reliably informed there's about three minutes of play remaining. From the line out, Tamworth have the ball. Oh, knocked on there by... Uh, who was it? Pulling there. Pulley. A little bit of bad luck there. And some of these forwards are a little more than just a little bit tired. Crowd coming to life now, trying to urge Corindai on. 12 points to six with about four minutes to go, as I say, in the grand final. I believe it's about four minutes. This might be the last throw of the dive. Guys, Tamworth's won a tight head. Goes to Page. Page the winger clears it down the touchline. And that's great work as Scotty Chambers makes a despairing dive at him to try and charge the ball down. Had a good game as Scotty Chambers for uh, Corindai, the Corindai flanker. And now we see play around about 37 metres out from the Tamworth line. And that's where McCathy, the Corindai hooker, will put, put pl uh, the ball back into play. Again, taken by Dowsett. He's dropped the ball. The ball goes back to Corindai. On to Gallagher. Now on to Cudmore. He spills the ball, does Richard Cudmore. Regathers, but the referee will have to go back for the uh, knock on. Ten metres inside the, Tam inside the Tamworth half. Corindai throwing everything at them. If they had a kitchen sink, it'd go at them too. Referee trying to settle things down here in the front row. Tamworth have had by far the better of the front the front row exchanges, buckling them many occasions. Now we see the pressure going on. Tamworth edging forward, and the ball hits the referee. Goodness gracious me! I've, well, that is incredible. That is absolutely amazing. It's not very often you see uh, the referee so blatantly in. Uh, However, just watching to see what was happening there, but um, <laughs> the referee, referee in the road there. And he's awarded a differential penalty from the scrum. So that was um, a scrum that was forced by the referee's intervention. And uh, here they've got the chance of a field goal from Gallagher. However, it's going to drop short. Peter Thompson takes it in front of his posts. And the referee... Oh, yes, Peter Thompson took a, took a fair catch, called for the fair catch. It was awarded... He was steady on his feet at the time of taking the ball and uh, he'll clear from under his own post into this rather stiff breeze. Puts it high in the air. I don't know whether this will find touch. Yes, it does. And that's a great kick by Peter Thompson. He's had a magnificent game today. One outstanding uh, uh, field goal from about 47 metres out into the wind. And uh, that's what made it Tamworth 12 points to three at that stage. From the line out, Carter going forward. 
the referee's blown up the ensuing ruck and uh, we're going to have a scrum with Corindice put in. Gallopers feed to the scrum. Crowd trying to urge Corindice on to greater things. Tamworth defence has worked very well today. Now Gallagher puts the ball in. Corindice on the back pedal. Out it goes to Gallagher. On to uh, Richie uh, Cudmore. Then on to, his, on to his brother. Then out to Rose it was on the other side. He's dumped unceremoniously about 27 metres out from the Tamworth line. That's where the ruck takes place. The referee gives Tamworth a penalty. A little bit keen, Corindice. Well, they might be. There's only a couple of minutes to go in this game. Tamworth leading by 12 points to 6. They've won the reserve grade today. They lost to the under-19s by only 3 points. And here they've scored the only try on the match as Peter Thompson takes the clearing penalty kick and kicks it way up over the 10-metre over the mark. However, it's taken by Cudmore. He gives it on to Gallagher. Gallagher now kicking the kicking the ball back down way into Tamworth territory inside the 22 taken by Andrew Page he swings it back to Thompson Thompson gets boot to the ball and they work it well and there might have been a suggestion of a late tackle there but that could well be a frustration frustration it well might be too because they've had the options and I'm afraid they haven't used them I can't say any more than that and there there is the siren and Tamworth have won the grand final for 1991 congratulations Commiserations to Corindai. They played well, but they just didn't seem to have the same purpose. And so Tamworth have done it from fourth position. Three weeks ago, they went to Walker, played as snow was falling on the ground. They beat Walker by 21 points to nil. Last weekend, they went into the final against Gunnedah. They won that to the tune of 23 points to seven. And here this afternoon at Corindai's Rugby Park, the grand final by 12 points to six. It's unfortunate for Corindai. The last time they won a grand final was 1968. Before that, they won successive grand finals in 1965 and 66. But perhaps next year. Well, we can all say that. That was great stuff from, uh, from Tamworth. Let me tell you how the scoring went. After 10 minutes, a penalty goal by Tamworth's goal-kicking uh, second rower, Peter Norris. That was three points to nil. And then a try after 20 minutes, a pushover try to Tamworth, where halfback Oliver joined, joined on the back of the scrum and scored the try. Norris converted that beautiful kick from wide out. And that, of course, made the score nine points to nil. And that was the uh, that was the halftime score, and it was about ten or ten or fourteen. I've got fourteen minutes written down here into the second half, when Peter Thompson, with an absolutely fantastic field goal from about forty-seven metres out, uh, put the ball straight between the uprights, and that made the score twelve points to nil. Then Jim Gallagher came along and threw a field goal and a penalty goal, has made the final score. 12 points to 6. So, this afternoon, wherever you are, thank you very much indeed. We've enjoyed a wonderful day here at Corindai. And until we see you next, perhaps next year's grand final. It's Cheerio from the Tamworth Video Sporting Productions and Monty Gilbert wishing you all the best. Cheerio.